Why is it that we wait to demand the best for and of ourselves? Happy Friday, everyone. Here we are just on the cusp of New Year's Eve. And that is really something I've been pondering recently. Why do I put things off? Why do I say, well, I'll do that Monday or maybe next year or maybe next month. And every time I do that, it kind of chips away at your sense of self. But I gain self-respect when I don't break the promises that I've made to myself. So this year, what is it that you're waiting to do? What is it that you've been putting off? And then decide how you're gonna move forward. Now, resolutions, they've become quite frankly cliche. I believe that we should be setting goals and making progress. That's a good resolution to make progress. We can do that throughout the year. January through December. We don't have to have a special day, but New Year's is about beginnings and moving forward. In Europe, in fact, they have a tradition that I find quite interesting where they write down their resolutions on a little small scrap of paper. It could be secrets. It could be things that have been really causing them distress in their life. And they take those papers, they keep them private, and they light them on fire and drop them into a tray. On this Monday's edition of the Industry Leader Update, that's going to be on January 2nd, we're going to be discussing the business cycle that we're presently going through and how there truly is nothing new under the sun, but more importantly, how we can better prepare ourselves for this cycle that's going to keep going on and on, whether it's in the economy or reverse mortgage lending. Hope you have a great, happy, and safe New Year's Eve, and we'll see you here next Friday for more Food for Thought.